guys today I thought I would vlog about seven non so typical pregnancy must-haves so you know the usual ones like the quickies and the panty liners well yeah I wanted to give you something a little bit different things that you may not have thought of that have been really really helpful for me so let's start the video okay so the first thing I don't know exactly what it's called and my friend actually gave it to me but it's this stretchy black thing that goes right across your right across here so you can continue wearing your shorts also if you have pants that fit you sometimes or a lot of the time my shirts like <laughs> are riding up <laughs> and like showing my midriff so if I'm wearing something in black it's really great to have one of these so yeah, you can either make tops feel a bit longer or yeah, if you can't do up your pants anymore, then this hides the whole button or zipper scenario. The next thing is some really comfortable undies. So at the start when I, my hips started to grow, when I started to get a few more love handles and my thighs started touching, um, it was really important for me to get some really comfy underwear. So these ones are just from a place cotton on so I'm um, in Australia so I don't know if anyone else has cotton on but um you can just see they're seamless which really really are great because it doesn't like feel like it's cutting off your circulation it doesn't make you like reach at your love handles and think about them very much and yeah, they're just nice and soft and as well obviously like my butt grew so much too so to be able to wear seamless undies where if you're wearing like a tight dress to show off your bump you can't see all of the lumps and bumps so yeah seamless easy free undies are a lifesaver the next thing is this lush bar so this one is designed specifically for pregnancy so one in four babies are born with an Audi. How cute is this? And this is to go on your stomach to help with stretch marks. So it's absolutely beautiful. I'll show you, you can see on my skin. It requires no water at all. And I don't know if you can see just how lush that is. Oh, no. It smells delicious too it's like lemon so the next thing is the Dyson hand stick back this has honestly been such a lifesaver I am continuously just out of breath everything is like so much heavier now for you so just uh, and frustrating like me having to yank this huge jalopy vacuum cleaner around all the corners I just wasn't doing that and I live in a two-story house so like having to plug in the extension everywhere carried up the stairs is just too much of a mission for me and even the hubby like every morning when there's crumbs on the floor after we've made breakfast is just so easy for him to grab it and just help me out like he said the other day like oh I would never usually do this but because it's so easy like yep so good definitely invest in one it doesn't even have to be the dice and just a hand stick back is an honest lifesaver. So the next thing is a, what do you call it? a stool that can go into the shower. So just like this one, a plastic one. Um, and it will obviously just help you so much with like shaving your legs because just like getting around the stomach is so hard. I can't even like put my shoes on. My husband helps me every morning or I can put them on if I like go this way. <laughs> Oh my god, my side profile is so big. <laughs> um, but yeah, the stool is so good. Even if you need to have a rest in the shower. Uh, <laughs> some people really love that. But yeah, it's just definitely been a lifesaver for me. Next, this handheld mirror. <laughs> okay, I use this in the shower to obviously help with a bit of the downstairs finding of the situation. Um, I mentioned in like a way earlier vlog that I was thinking about having my husband help me, which 
I was totally not keen on. So this is really great to just put on your stool in the shower. You can see everything down below so you can take care of it yourself. It'll be also really, really handy if you are thinking about doing like perennial massage towards the end of your pregnancies, just so you know where the hell you're going down there if you're gonna be doing it by yourself. Um, yeah, just make sure you're getting the right areas. So the next best thing, I've already put them on for you. <laughs> These are my pajama pants from Peter Alexander. Um, I normally used to take an extra small and I bought these in extra large and I thought there was no way that I was ever going to fit in them. I would have got just large but they didn't have the size so I just went with it. But now I'm so thankful that I did. <sighs> this is them. As you can see, so comfortable, so much room for activities and they fit me perfect. So much stretch, nothing cutting off my circulation at night. It's not tight. Anyway, this is a look at me guys on week 37. I feel like I'm a rocket. <laughs> Almost there. But yeah, these are the best. <laughs> I'll just leave them on. It's nearly night time anyway. Well, I hope you enjoyed my pregnancy mustaches. Um, I will link everything or at least mention them in my comments below. Uh, if you think there was anything that I did miss, put them in the comments too so everyone else knows some more interesting things <laughs> that could benefit them. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching guys and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.